Hello my good friends, you welcome to another episode of the how to do series. Now I'm going to tell you, show you on how to use Photoshop. I'll be talking majorly of three tools, um, the curves, the canvas with the image size and the polygonal lasso. Let's, let me quickly dash down to Photoshop. I'm using the Photoshop CS3 Extended, which is an extension to CS3. We have CX5, 6, 7, but this will quite do what I need it for. I have two images. I have two images, and I need them to be presented, especially this. I need this image to be presented. In a 740 by 380 dimension, 740 width and 380 the height. But I don't want this screen. I want this to sit into the laptop screen. I want this to sit into this. How will I get that? They are both of different dimensions, so I need to dictate the dimensions, or I need to work first before I, I reduce the dimension. Let me add straight to the work. This layer, um, will be fixed into the other layer. So I do this by dragging in this layer into here. Fine. I'm true with this. I concentrate fully on those on this I zoom out now the size of this uppermost layer on my background let me unlock it to create a layer on top of it now on my layers i pick the layer one i come to the far right the arrow of the uh, mouse changes to this way to this direction i hold my control and the alt to zoom in the image i zoom it in i zoom it in I release it, I drag the image to the screen of my mark. Now I need it to sit into this image perfectly. So it works this way, this is what I'm having. I zoom out a little bit to complete the photo quite good I use my down key to extend downwards now at this stage I zoom in so that we know where to cut off and where to keep I pick on my zoom tool I have to apply the transformation first I go top to the plus sign or use a control plus I zoom in on it most especially the tip here nine it's nice let me zoom out a little bit so that I'll get to see now this is fine now I pick my move key I select this layer for a perfect cut for a perfect cut you can do it two ways you can go down you can scroll down on this and you trim off looking at this now let me pick my polygon and also to focus on the point 
once i click on the point once i'm at the point you must be precise once you click you hold your alt you drag down oh it swallows up i pick it again I hold my heart make it fast fine you delete you come to the other side you do the same you delete quite good You pick your rectangular mark you to take away this or you deselect by pressing ctrl d now you use your arrow key to fix up you can see it sits perfectly you ctrl d to deselect now you pick the other two look at the screen of your laptop now it's fixing save the image right it's, it's been it's been displayed on it now i used to choose the lasso to crop off now we are not true yet we need to take away this trans the, the the white layer so that it's not going to have a solid color as a layer i want it transparent in essence so i pick my magic wonder to magic wand to I click on the solid color which is plain white you can see it selects all other related color around the background I delete off quite good now I have it transparent notice it in the layer background I'm not sure yet I need to resize this image to a 740 by 380 dimension because that's the given dimension or the space i need to fix this image in in my website so i have to flatten this down to the other layer because in the course of resizing i need a uniform image i match down I can merge visible or I can flatten the image. Let's merge down. So once I merge down, it's now one. Look at it, it's one. Okay, so let me resize. I go to my image, to my canvas. I use canvas this time so that I have a uniform resizing. The width of 740. And the height of 380. I'll proceed. Fine. So that's the size I need to use. I hold on the corner here, my alt and my shift to zoom in. To zoom in. Fine. I come over here. So it fits I commit this transform I deselect fine my image has been resized to a dimension of 740 by 380 and yet with a transparent background look at how beautiful it is you can save this you can save as PNG you can save as JPEG. This is JPEG, but I always save my web images as PNG. I can save it on my desktop. I call it MacBook Pro PNG. Save. None. I don't want it. It's a list. Let me minimize. Just let me go and visualize. 
my edited image so i have to open with the windows photo viewer look how beautiful it is with no background transparent background so you can sit on any platform any background of so ever it goes fine with it nothing inter clashes nothing disturbs each other it stands out in any graphic background you you use it on i think you've learned one or two things from these thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of my how to do and more of my programming tutorials bye bye